Hello! Today on Paper Power, we're going to learn how to make cardboard ramps. My name's Mr. Sherman, and I'm part of the Modern Learning Resource Team at the Peel District School Board. A ramp or inclined plane is a sloped surface, and even though the distance you have to travel is increased, it makes climbing easier since it's less steep and you need less effort, and it makes the descent easier since it's more controlled. For today's build, we'll need a ruler, a pencil, several types of adhesives or connectors, safe and secure cutting tools, paper tubes, thin cardboard, and things that roll. As safe makers, always consider using safety gloves and eye protection. Today we're going to make two types of ramps depending on the materials you have at your disposal. We'll first make a ramp out of a cardboard tube. Visually divide the tube in half and create a line on each side. Cut the tube into two equal portions and there we go, we have our first two ramps. For the second type of ramp, take a thin piece of cardboard and divide it into three sections, each about three to four centimeters in width. Using your safe and sturdy cutting tool, cut along the third line so that all three of the strips stay together. Fold along the two remaining pencil lines to get this wavy shape. You may need to score the lines with the edge of your ruler so they're easier to fold. Once that's done, you now have your second type of ramp. Let's try out our ramps by securing them to a second surface, like a box, larger piece of cardboard, or a piece of foam board. First, put a ramp up to the side, position it, and trim it to fit. To secure the three-section wavy ramp, take one of the three sides, cover it with adhesive, like glue or tape, and secure it to the side of the second surface. When fixing the paper tube ramps to a second surface, it's best to use heavy tape as shown in this picture. You may want to consider creating a small support with extra cardboard in case you're using heavier rolling objects for your cardboard tube ramps. Fix more ramps to your second surface so that they're staggered and operate together in a system. Keep testing and modifying your system of ramps until they work perfectly. Now that you know how to create cardboard ramps, try making new ones at different sizes, strengths, and sloping them at different inclines. We can't wait to see what you'll create. Thanks for listening.